this is Olympia and welcome to a video and I'm going to be quite oh very big lag spike I'm going to rush through this update not because I don't want to do the update it's because I've got a show in like three hours and it takes ages to edit and upload so the quicker I get this done the more time I have so we're going to start with the discounts and I'm actually on my Aquatech for a reason because the Aquatechs are discounted to 553 star coins and I will I won't go to show them but also the Mawaris are also discounted to 760 star coins so if you wanted to get a Mawari or a Aquatech an Aquatech then this is the time to do it and these discounts will be available until January the 12th so I'm going to go quickly find a Mawari. So these are now 760 star coins and the Aquatex are 553. So that is because in Silverglade Manor there is the Horses of Jorvik back again so I feel like we only just got rid of him but he's back so he is down in this paddock and it's the one that came earlier this year I think and the Arabians and their magic versions can do it. The Aquatex and their magic versions can do it. And the Marwaris can do it as well. But they don't have a magic thing. So, hello there. My name is... I can never say it and I'm not even going to attempt it. And I'm one of the founders of the Horses of Europe Focus Races. If you didn't... Yeah. If you want to know what this says, you can go back to the one that was a few weeks ago. Or the one that like April, May time. I think it was May because I was doing my exams. So basically it just says these are for specific breeds and um, it's for like bonding or whatever. You can enter the race with an Arabian, Moari or Aquatech and any magic versions of those. And I, I think it might be the same course. I have a feeling it probably is because it did say he's back with the course. Bringing back the show jumping race. So yeah, it's probably going to be bring back. But I'm on Lacey because this is the only horse. Uh, well, I have Muffin, but I used Muffin last time I did it, so Lacey gets used today. <laughs> this is good because the magic horses are Arabian magic horses. So if you needed to have, if you needed to train your magic horses, then this is a good one to train them on because I think it gives you 500 horse XP. Or if then, if you don't have any horses that need training. Um, like Mawari, Aquatech, or Arabian, then you can always do it on like an array on those horses and then switch it out for a different horse. But yeah, that gives you 500 horse XP. And it'll be there until January the 12th as well. And then the next place we're going is the Valdell Lake. Uh, so we need to go to Valdell Village. There's actually two, there's actually three races in this update, and I love do races coming in updates because. I train, I have a lot of horses to train. <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of horses to train, I have like one, but I like training my horses and I like doing the races, so. Anyway, this is the penguin race that we did last year, I think. So the rivers are basically frozen over. I love this race. It's so fun. This is new ice texture as well, I think. Oh, it doesn't have the slippery thing. Oh, that's sad. Flipper lets loose a series of excited squeaks and quacks while desperately trying to use his flippers to depict sliding on ice. It looks like he wants you to race down the frozen river. And this one gives you 700 horse XP. I think that's only on the first turn though. Uh, no, I no, it does give you 700 AXP each time. Because I remember doing it. The thing is, is that it's the half the fun is the fact you slide and there's not sliding. So this, is bit, this one's kind of disappointing. Aww. I will be doing these races twice, but I'll just do them after this, so. Actually, there's another race as well, so we may as well just do them all together. <laughs> I enjoyed this race last, last year that I did it. Uh, so I'm actually okay at it, because I remember it. And also, we're not slipping and sliding on the ice so much, which is really sad, because that was like half the fun of this entire race, was the fact that you slid <laughs> a lot. You slid a lot. So it's really difficult because you would slide and you'd have to try and compensate for it. So it was like, sorry, penguin. Uh, it was like trying to compensate. And you had to, you had to almost learn a different way of racing to get down them because it was so difficult to turn that you couldn't overturn 
or underturn. You had to do it just right, and it was almost it was it made it more interesting because you had to like relearn how to do it. But now it's just kind of like normal, which is really annoying and sad. I just killed another penguin. I love the lily pads on top of the ice. That's hilarious. I also like the fact they make use of this river because it's such a long river and it doesn't really do anything other than keep the non-star riders out. You know, I really like that they did something with it. I love this. I don't know, penguins make me happy. The penguin sliding thing makes me really happy. So I'm gonna go to the winter village because there is actually, there's a race in the winter village. It's the penguin race. I know this one's also the penguin race, but this is the Silver Song River race. And then you have the penguin race. They're completely different things. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go do the penguin race and then I will do them all over again to show you without my voiceover so you can get a proper look at every single bit of the race. Because I am aware that my voiceover is very annoying sometimes. I get really annoyed by my voice because sometimes I find it drones. And this is not very relevant, but you know, my voice is sometimes like really boring. I don't know if it's because I have to listen to it, but I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's really weird and annoying. I had to do mic testing um and stand on the mics and just like talking to them and you think i'd be really good at this oh my keys are uh, making noise uh you think i'd be really good at it because i do this for as like for fun but no it's kind of an kind of irritating oh there's foxes there's also another quest over here that's over here okay so the first thing is the arctic fox preservation team i will do that actually i'm going to do that after i finish the races let's see where oh it's up there okay just cut across the frozen lake that's like, that's a frozen pond, I suppose, but I'd call that a lake. Maybe it's because I don't know what a lake is. Okay, I do know what a lake is, but like, I don't know if there's specifics for lakes or not. Do you know, I really like this winter village because the aesthetically pleasing photos that have been made of it, like the pinks and the blues and the white, it's so fun and like colourful and I, I just, I love it. Hey there, we're hosting a very special race this season. It takes you on a beautiful journey through the woods and over the frozen lake. But watch for the penguins, they live nearby and could cross the track at any moment. So this one gives you 400 horse XP and three winter wishes. I don't know if it's going to be the same each time, but I guess we'll find out. So this one's a new race that they've added recent this year. I like that they're adding more stuff each year. It's kind of like, ex well, that's a bit rude. It's kind of like expanding on what they already had, and that make it, it's it's a good way of doing it, you know. Oh come on! I can't jump those. What? Oh, okay. Screw this race. I hate it. I can't jump over things. Oh, oh! I hate it so much. Oh, okay, go around. I'm just gonna go the long way around. Because apparently we can't jump, so. I don't know if that's just my keyboard, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm jumping. Okay, what is going on? I, I don't know why it didn't let me jump, but fine, you know, we're doing it now, so who cares? Two seconds later. I care but it doesn't matter because my complaining is going to be cut out anyway. <laughs> Let's just go around these things because I don't trust my spacebar to jump, so. Oh, we're going back down. Oh, I thought it was the end of it. <laughs> this is like the longest winter race ever. How long is this race? Okay, I didn't even need to jump through that, but I couldn't anyway. I don't know what is wrong with my spacebar, but it's not letting me jump, okay. So I'm gonna do all those races again, and I shall see you when I do. It takes like half an hour to boot my computer up, right? So I was, I was meant to come back at 12:30, but um, we didn't. I couldn't get a lift back from the place where I was doing the show until one. So I went Christmas shopping with my friend for like half an hour, an hour, half an hour, and then we got back at one, and it took like. 40 minutes for my computer to boot up properly which is just ridiculous if you ask me because like 40 minutes to boot my computer up and get everything ready 
because it's just so slow when you, when I turn it on it's just like snail's pace but yeah I have to finish uh, I want to go back for at least the show which starts at 7 did I decide to change outfits when I really don't have time to even like breathe let alone change outfits yes but um, I have no excuse it's just like I just didn't fancy the green also I just opened like all the advent in one go so basically I just got this sweater and I actually kind of like it although the blue on it does not go with anything so I paired it with champagne saddle pad but I don't think it really goes either so um, what I'm saying is is that my outfit is just as bad as it was before and it was a waste of time but uh, sue me <laughs> I don't care I have not I do not have enough time to care so yeah, this one's 500 horse XP every time. The saddle pack kind of looks like a stone brick wall, just saying. Right, I'm gonna shut up now. Deck the house with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. This whole, uh, this, this horse, this race only gives you 150 XP after you've done it the first time. Deck the halls with bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now? So the race is done. Uh, so now I have to, well I don't have to, now we can look at the Arctic Fox Preservation Team. I'm going to read this quest line as quickly and as accurately as I can. So this is going to be a test of how fast I can speak and read, which will not be very fast, but we're going to try. <laughs> Hi there, I'm the leader of the Fo Arctic Fox Preservation Team. Have you ever heard about us? No? Let's t let's, let me tell you about our work. Arctic foxes are cute wild animals, also known as snow foxes, polar foxes, or white foxes. As they're common in the Arctic regions, there are some living in Njovic, although their number is very small. Our team takes, takes care of the foxes here in the Winter Village. If you're interested in learning more about Arctic foxes, I'm sure the team would love to share their ex expertise with you. We are fascinated by these foxes, which is why we volunteer our time to monitor their population and health. Whew, that was actually pretty good. Let me mark it on your map where one of my scouts is, then come back when you've talked to them all. Oh! So, we're going this way, I suppose. Here they are. Whilst we're here, we can check out the paddock props. Hi, do you want to know my, my favourite fact about Arctic foxes? There are two morph colour morphs of Arctic foxes, white and blue. Let me tell you something about mind-blowing. White foxes change to a brownish colour during summer. However, not we have not observed that camouflage adaption on our Jorvik foxes. I'll mark where my next teammate is so you can talk to her. Okay, where's the next teammate? Oh, that's so far away. Anyway, whilst we're by the paddock, you can now put paddock props in. So there's... Let's go through the gates. There's these jumps in the middle there's like a full course or there is this jumping course so that's all of the paddock props that they have added and yeah i'm going to keep going with the finding these rangers <laughs> i hope we don't get a quiz on it because i was not listening i was just reading howdy i'm studying the impact of the environment on animal friends homes say do you did you know that white and blue arctic foxes live in very different habitats white foxes live inland and blend in with the snowy tundra blue fo arctic foxes live along the coast where their darker color blends in with the cliffs and rocks typically found in the region 
Okay. God, gotta get all the way back over to... What is this? Just... Why make it so everywhere? Why can't you just make it in like a circle? Do you know it would be easier for everybody to find a circle? I hope there's not many more of these because I don't think I have time for all of them otherwise. Because I need to start editing if I want to be back at four. Hey, thanks for coming over. I've been tracking the number of arctic foxes so we can monitor their population. It is estimated that there is fewer than 200 arctic, adult arctic foxes in all of Norway, Sweden and Finland. However, the total arctic population of arctic foxes is several hundred thousand animals. This means arctic foxes are not currently endangered, though they're not completely safe yet. Therefore, our team is making an effort to improve their situation. Oh, it's all the way on the other side. Ah! Okay, let's just return to the entrance. Skip out half the journey. Please be the last one. Please be the last one. Otherwise, I might have to stop because I don't have time. Hi, visitor. I read some interesting facts about Arctic foxes' senses. Listen to this. Though Arctic foxes have a slight, slightly inferior hearing co acuity compared to... Why is that just so hard to say? Inferior hearing acuity compared to some domestic dogs. They can smell raw meat dozens of kilometres away and barely feel any cold in their paws even when walking over ice. Incredible. No more. No more. No more. Oh, please be the last one. Please be the last one. Never thought I'd wish for an update to finish faster, but here we go. Why does this one have to be like the biggest update in a while? Honestly. Hey you, have you ever wondered how arctic foxes can walk on ice? Arctic foxes have only canids in th whose paws are completely covered in fur. Isn't that fur positively adorable? See what I did there, haha. <laughs> Moreover, an arctic fox maintains a higher temperature in its paws than in the rest of its body, so that m tissue in the Poor pads does not freeze. Okay, no more, no more. Now you've, oh, thank you. Now you've met the whole team, go back to our leader. She sure has some more in awesome things to share with you. Don't be much though, please. By the way, these are some Arctic foxes. I just saw them on the way down, but like, here we go. Uh, here's the hardy Arctic fox and here's the frigid Arctic fox. So there you go, some new foxes and they're 350 star coins because why get a horse when you can get a fox? <laughs> now you're back. Did you enjoy meeting the team? No. Now that you've completed this trek to learn about arctic foxes, I'd like to tell you about a really remarkable journey. In 2019, a female arctic fox travelled from Norway all the way to Canada through Greenland and the Arctic Pole in, in an incredible 76 days. She averaged 46 kilometres per day with tops 155 kilometres a day. What a journey, right? Thanks so much for your time. It's the interests of people like you that help us preserve these adorable arctic foxes. Take care of these little animals together. Okay, okay, we did it. Whole of this update done um so some of the horses have moved so i'm not quite done so some of the horses have moved so they needed some space on steve's farm um so few horses have moved ow to lower paddock island so the second generation frisian has moved the second generation hanoverian the third generation of warmblood and the third generation of Zitano have all moved to the lower paddock island so if you wanted any of those breeds they're there anyway so Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'm very sorry it's rushed. I just got something to do. <laughs> and follow my Instagram, Olympia.peacechild. Follow my Twitch, Olympia Peace Child, And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.